Well, I hope this is recording, but uh, this doesn't really do it any justice. Here I am in Newfoundland, and uh, I'm supposed to be able to see, like, the northern lights. And you can't see, but that orange color is actually, like, really, like, the reddest I have ever seen the sky. Like, red, red. Like, a so much of an orange that it's almost red. And over here, you can't really see. Up there, see how you got the reds and the darks and that? There's almost like a green in it. It's just awesome. And the clouds are rolling in, like that dark cloud started rolling in a circle, like around the island. Started over there by the boat dock, along the bottom, just above the island there, and rolled along. I've got some pictures, but I hate having a cell phone because it just doesn't do it any justice. Somebody's got their boat dock there. Cod fishing season. So that's kind of cool. That adds to it. But, oh, I'm just so glad I'm witnessing this and that I live here. Dark clouds are pretty much starting to roll in now and I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes trying to get this, but I mean, it's like way above my head even red. And the moon's still in the sky. You can see it there. That's red right above my head. It's like red in the sky. All the way down. All the way more. And down to the ocean. Or the bay of the ocean. There's a bird. Isn't that just gorgeous? I almost couldn't stay awake <laughs> to see this. But uh, I'm glad I did, because that's just totally awesome. It's like something you only get to see once in a lifetime. Like it's even red all the way over here, where the sunset isn't even. So that's what's happening. I guess the last one that happened was in 2001. Wow, it's like all the way over into the west sky even. The west is like it too. This is over in the west up at the top of the house there, not even where the sun rises. It's all red. See? That's the west. Sun sets in the west and rises in the east. That's east over here. That's north over there. So, that's pretty cool. And like I said, it's like a red red. You can't see, but that orange is like red. Well, you can see how orange it is even on this thing, hopefully. But it is like a red color. That is just pretty cool, though. The people driving to work. I think it's like about almost 6 o'clock in the morning now. They're getting a spectacular display. And this is more north over here in my back side yard here where they were saying that we could see the northern lights and such. It's kind of hard to see because it was pretty cloudy last night. Stayed awake all night trying to see it. And the funny thing is, I could have just woke up early and seen this. But, oh, see, the clouds are rolling in now. It's like I got her just in time. But isn't that just gorgeous? Like, what a view to wake up to every day. The clouds are starting to move in and cover it up. Man, that's just, that's awesome. That was pretty cool. Clouds are moving actually fairly fast. I don't know if you can see in the video how fast they're moving if you need to keep a focal point of that island or the boat. See the shapes changing where that opening is in the sky, the clouds at the bottom, just above the water and above. You can see how fast the clouds are moving. Well, how fast they rolled in right over that. So wow, that was pretty cool just to just to witness that. I 
even there it is still in the sky where clouds haven't reached it yet. That's pretty cool. That was wicked. So I don't know, maybe that's part of the northern lights. It's a little bit green in some of the pictures I got. It's just cool. Like I said, I'm just glad to be able to witness that. The moon's still up there. Way up there is that white dot. Oh, I'm getting eaten alive by spiders and bugs. I've had enough. <laughs> Time to go in. But there you go, people. There's a little piece of uh, a once in a lifetime or once in ten years or whatever. I don't. I forget what this thing is. But it's 2010, and the last time was 2001. Something about the sun and like an explosion and it, like a tsunami on the sun, and it uh, hit uh, the atmosphere of the Earth like a tsunami. You know how we had a tsunami, but with the sun's atmosphere and because of the gases and the oxygen levels created that colors in the sky. And I guess supposedly you could see the northern lights as far as. Uh, Northern America. So that's pretty cool. But wow, these clouds are really moving in fast. Remember, there was an opening there. <laughs> now it's uh, all different. Like I said, you can probably see how fast they're moving. But that was pretty cool. But, anyways, I'm signing off here, people, because I am starting to get eaten by bugs. Like, even look at just the way the clouds are going in the sky is odd, too. Like, all wispy and shapey and stuff. Shapey. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? They're not like cumulus clouds, you know? They're even, like, just splayed out there like fingers painting the sky. And that's way up above my head. Doesn't that look wicked? Kind of like a spirit or something with a head and wings. It's just awesome. Look at that. It's enough to brighten your day to witness God's beauty. It's amazing all the different colors. They're kind of like rainbows. I don't know if you probably won't be able to see in this, but. Sometimes it's like a rainbow on the water. You get green and orange and pinky color, the dark deep ocean color. It's just kind of cool. Wow. I want to go in because I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes and flies, but it just keeps changing and getting more and more beautiful. Wow, like look at it, it's just creating new forms and new things. Look at that, that almost looks like some kind of wicked devil or something with horns and arms. Weird. See the different oranges and colors in that? Oh, this is just awesome. Let's see what's over here in the west up above my house. Like look at it, there's even orange way over there. Painted all different designs. That's like a painting. You could sell that. <laughs> it's cool. Even look at the reflection in the glass of my mobile home. Like, even that. Wicked. Over here, we got it. All red. The sky. My pads are red, though. Seagulls seem to be out. They'll be doing their morning fishing. Wow, that's pretty cool. Like up here, the way it wisps out, it's kind of like whatever was in the atmosphere. You can see it coming in. Well, out there, where that happened, that tsunami or whatever they call it on the sun. Last night, too, I did see a shooting star when I was out here. But uh, a friend was telling me they've seen quite a few. But that's just, that's cool. Nice to witness.
get it now. Now it's like What a blessing to see. Glad I stayed awake. But it looks like the dark clouds are rolling in. And I imagine the sun is on the way, as you can see. Wow. That's pretty cool, though. How those black clouds are, like I said, just wisping around, like, like as if something was on fire. It started off along the bottom there, like I said came around, see the bottom where the island is and there's clouds just above it. That came around the bottom and all the way around. And then now, over here, we have another layer up up top. There was that one along the bottom. Now there's one up there. And it's starting to go around. It's weird. It's just like whatever happened. It's just entering our atmosphere at a vast pace, I might add. Like those clouds are moving quickly. Like, look at that one. That one looks like a dragon head. Like, it's going so fast. It looks like he's walking along that other cloud. And it's not even that windy out. I've seen it way windier than this in Newfoundland. But over here, there's already new clouds forming before it was just that little one. But anyways, people, just thought I would share that with you. I think I'm going in before I turn into, well, I already am, uh, Bye-bye.